But you're watching breakfast television on City. Uh, wow, what a big day. We had the Flames season home yes. opener last night. We got the Jays taking on the Texas Rangers this afternoon. It's a good time to be a sports fan. Yes, couldn't have been a better day for the NHL face-off event yesterday at Fort Calgary. It was beautiful. I dressed in layers, yeah. Andy, and I ended up having to peel a couple off under my jersey. Uh, so, yeah, oh, it was super this. fun. For the family, little uh, little kid in the take the shot challenge there. So uh, there's there was, Harvey. Yeah, and and appearances by the likes of Theo Fleury, along with Jim Poplinski, Lenny McDonald were on hand. So some Flames greats who were participating in the event throughout the afternoon and leading up to the big concert. Oh, almost. Oh, big slap yeah. shot. Sticks a little big for her. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Here's Fitz and the Tantrums who took the stage before the 8 p.m. puck drop. So, uh, LA based band, indie soul music, they have a ton of hits and they warmed the crowd up before the hockey season began. And what a way to kick off the flame season. Unfortunately, the results weren't exactly what we wanted. Ooh, that's okay. yeah. it's only yeah. the beginning, only the beginning. Ruben in the Dark, also Calgary's own, uh, played the first intermission, and then Jocelyn Alice took the stage for the second intermission. Nice. I ran into some familiar faces, including none other than Tara Sloan. Hey! Who was doing a gig T. Sloan. Sport set. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah, very cool. That's her, her new role, and she's going to be traveling coast to coast with hometown hockey. And this is, it's interesting because, you know, hometown hockey is going to be uh, making their way uh, west. And we're going to, you know, get more of an uh, interaction with hometown hockey. But this is an example of kind of what it is. Totally. Bringing a festival environment, bringing the game and, and really the grassroots aspect of uh, hockey. Because uh, I think a lot of us just grew up watching it on TV. Yeah. Uh, you know, at that level. But to see some of the hockey stars out there and some of the, you know, the whole NHL road show roll into town. Hometown, yeah. Hometown hockey is an awesome show, by the way. It's Sundays, of course, throughout the hockey season, uh, hosted by Ron McLean. If you have not seen it, check it out because it's the stories behind the game. That's mm -hmm. what's huge. Yeah. Which is great. And the communities. And sure. the communities and like the people in the communities who have made hockey such an integral part. It's, it's really heartwarming, actually, yeah. This is something cool that I discovered actually from the BT Calgary account. We were oh. communicating back and forth. So look at this. If you check out the hashtag NHL Face Off, yeah. yeah. there's a hockey stick emoji. Oh, I see that. Now, in the emoji catalog on your phone, there is no hockey emoji. There is football, there is oh. soccer, there is baseball, but there's no hockey. S so what's up here? Well, the NHL worked with Twitter to create these custom emojis that tag along to the hashtag. There's going to be seven, so one a day. Oh. So you can see if you use this hashtag uh, as it the season goes up, it comes on automatically. That's so cool. So the hockey stick was yesterday. I'm not sure what it is today yet. They haven't uh, they haven't tagged it in yet, but. There's going to be a Zamboni and a hockey and net. And a net, probably, and a puck. Mm -hmm. and a, yeah. I like that it's automatic. That's pretty yeah, cool. that is cool. You know what would be cool is if you see the teams working with Twitter through the NHL, so when you put at NHL Flames, the Flames logo smart. comes up. That would be a cool emoji. It's probably in the works. Yes. Good ideas. 7 a.m. on your Thursday morning, you're watching Breakfast Television on City.